an eventful year in Parliament 2022. First of all, the much talked about electronic transfer levy, popularly called the e-levy, which resulted in some MPs trading blows on the floor of Parliament in 2021, was finally passed. The question is that those in favour of the motion say aye. aye. Those against say no. The ayes have it. An act to impose the levy to be known as the electronic transfer levy on electronic transfers to enhance revenue mobilization by broadening the tax base and to provide for related matters. Honorable members, the electronic transfer levy bill 2021 duly read the third time and passed. The passage which saw 1.5% levy being collected from citizens on electronic transactions was largely blamed on the speaker by the minority side of the house. We knew he was going to be very neutral, not knowing he had taken a stand to go ahead and pass the e-levy. On that day, we were 136, we left. They were 136 plus the sick person who was in an ambulance park here. But the speaker came with a ruling that, so even if you are present at a car park, you are present in parliament, should that work? That's Speaker Bagwin's ruling. You say he's the most experienced. Another matter in Parliament which attracted a lot of public interest was the Privileges Committee's report involving the three absentee MPs. In the year under review, the committee has generated two but one. The House is yet to debate on whether or not the Dom Kwabinya seat should be declared vacant. And while they wait at that, the MP at the centre, Sarah Joasafo, after almost a year absence, made an appearance in the House on Friday, November 11, to a rather hostile reception from her colleagues. I do my baby too. And I'm about chamber. I'm now back and um, back as a member of parliament to continue my duties. And so today's the first day and I'm hoping that the subsequent weeks are going to be good. It feels good to be back, that's all I can say. In the latter part of the third meeting, usually described as a budget meeting, the issue of Keno Furiata must go came up. The minority had filed a censure motion against the minister. And for the first time in the history of parliament, some majority MPs also wanted the finance minister resign or be sacked by President Akofo Addo. We are by this medium communicating our strong desire that the president change the minister of finance and the minister of state in the finance ministry without further delay. A notice is hereby served that until uh, such persons are made to resign or removed from office, we, members of the majority caucus here in parliament, will not participate in any business of government by or for the president, by any other minister. After a few meetings with the president and party leadership, there was a change of mind. It was agreed that given the circumstances, we should recline to the earlier position based on the assurances that were given by the president to allow the minister to present the budget and then thereafter the needful will be done. The numerous appeals by the minority to the majority MPs to support the censure motion did not yield any result. We don't have the threshold of the two-thirds majority required of 183. Some people may change their mind after today, and you may change your mind to come and support. So, Mr. Speaker, those motions, and for me, it's for the record, I want us to vote on them, secret ballot, then my side gets registered where we stood in the course of history and time when this country was subjected to unacceptable hardship. That imaginative number you are thinking of, you won't get any support. We will debate you on that day and prove to you that it is a personal attack on the finance minister. We will let you know. They should not be under any impression that there is going to be any so-called secret ballot and you are going to have somebody to support you. To support what? Allow us to run our government. In the course of the censure motion, the minority chief whip, Muntaka Mohamed Mubarak, fell out with the speaker. The intention to repair this member, conformity member, is resume wrong. Your seat. Resume your seat. It is wrong. It, is wrong. it, is wrong. it is cannot be right. It cannot be wrong. It cannot be right. And therefore, speaker, I beg to second the motion with a clear indication. Any attempt 
to move this matter to a committee will be a travesty of justice done to the chamber of this house. Minority Chief Whip, you have a difficulty in catching my eye again. The motion was finally taken on the floor after the eighth member ad hoc committee sitting but failed as the majority MPs walked out of the chamber. There is a responsibility on our shoulder to save our country and I call on you, the majority, to join us, the minority, to do what is right. Like Pontius Pilate, we wash our hands. We we'll wash our hands. <laughs> One major thing that received commendation, however, was the rejection of the 80 million cities allocated in the 2023 budget to construct the National Cathedral. And this is what the Bible we believe in says to us in Luke 14, 28 to 30. Is there anyone here planning to build a new house, in this case a cathedral, who doesn't first sit down to figure out the cost so you know if you can complete it? If you only get the foundation laid, and Mr. Speaker, the Bible is so telling. The Bible in Uganda will have a president called Akufuadu. This is what he says. If you only get the foundation laid, and then run out of money, you are going to look pretty foolish. Everyone passing by will poke fun at you. He started something he couldn't finish. This is the word of the Lord. But what could be disappointing to many is a no-show regarding the promotion of proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian Family Values Bill 2022, currently before the Constitutional, Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee of Parliament. Evelyn Tinkma, TV3 News, Accra.